Hi, in today's video we're going to be going up on the shed roof and installing some solar panels. I want to connect them to the inverter which I repaired in the previous video. So let's get up there and get on with it. So the first thing we need to do is screw these rails to the roof. That's what the solar panels will actually attach to. So that's the first row of solar rails attached to the roof. Now we're just going to put the end clamps on, which are these things here. They just slot into the rails and that's what holds the panels onto the rails. Obviously the centre ones which go between two panels and these are the end ones. So I'll put these on and then uh, we'll get the next uh, row. Right, so that's the next row screwed on there. Next we're going to put the mid clamps on, which are which look like this. So what happens with these is the whole one panel at that side and the other panel at that side. So right, we'll get those on then. Right, so that's all the mid clamps on now. Just a few more rows of these to go. Right, so I've got the solar rails all on the uh, roof now. And I've got half the panels on. So what I'm going to do now is put some conduits. I've got uh, some plastic conduit there. I'm going to put that through the ridge of the roof. And then feed that down to where the solar inverters are. So when I come to couple up, the cables are protected. Right, so I've got the conduit running underneath the uh, ridge of the building now and the wires are coming out of here I've put another panel on so I've got another panel to go there another one to go here and another one to go there So to get the panels up there I'm using the uh, old BT cherry picker here with a, a slight modification I've had to make to uh, support the solar panels but yeah then climbing out the bucket onto the shed roof probably not ideal but that's what uh, needs must as they say right so that's seven of the panels fitted just one more to go Right then, so that's all the panels fitted. So let's go down and uh, see what happens when we power it up. So that's the wire coming from the roof there in the conduit. Comes down the roof there. Down here. To the inverter that I've mounted on the wall with a box and that and stuff. I've actually got two of these inverters now because I bought another one for spares or repair off eBay and I fixed that one as well. So that one's actually mounted over there and I'm yet to put uh, another eight panels on the roof to feed that one that one's got the breakers uh, for the inverters as well like the solar panel DB's over on that one I'll, I'll go over to that one shortly but this one should be ready to fire up so let's uh, let's power it on and see what happens and we'll power the mains on as well and let's see what happens Gonna get rid of the glare. It's a bit hard to wear. Uh, there we go. Uh, just change that. So at the minute we're bringing in about 2400 watts.
power out is about 2300 watts. So yeah, we seem to be uh, seems to be all working. So so this is the uh, other solar inverter that I purchased from eBay for spares of repair and uh, repaired that one as well. So I've got this one marked as inverter number one, uh, but I've yet to put the uh, other solar panels on the roof for this one. So so that's the current state of this. So this one's just currently waiting to be connected. Yeah, so that was quite uh, interesting. Anyway, a bit uh, a bit of a change from the standard repair videos, but so there we have it. Self install of a solar power system. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it the thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, please subscribe. Any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.